Good afternoon and welcome. Welcome. It's Monday, April 3rd, and um, I'm excited to be here. So let me know if you are here too. Give me a thumbs up and um, we'll get started here shortly. I am so excited to show some of the things today. This is Pat Mayer from Akron, Ohio, and I think spring has arrived. I'm not sure. We've had some rocky road weather here lately. So, um, oh goodness, tell me where you're from if you're new to my channel. And if you saw what I posted about an hour ago, I'm gonna show two techniques today that were at least new to me when I saw them. Um, and I think it's something that you will enjoy. And I have some other news to share as well. Um, let's move some things out of the way here. Hi, Holly. Welcome. Uh, there's just, I've got all this space there. Just never seems to be enough room. Um, okay. Well, I am going to flip you down to my desktop because that's where all the fun stuff is and the happy stuff. Um, so let's see if I can make that happen. There we go. All right. Um, in this Stampin' Up! world, this has been a very exciting week because demonstrators got to see the new catalog. Well, this is the old one. There's a huge retiring list there. And... In tiny print this is it so I need to put on my magnifying glasses to read all that and it's not as bad as it looks because we've got French and English in here so I have not had an opportunity to um, change it out and eliminate all of the, the French products <coughs> excuse me welcome Gloria um, there are some discounts that will be starting um, the fourth sometime in the middle of the night I'm not exactly sure what time um, and it's also our demonstrator pre-order so we can order a select um, number of items from the new catalog before it goes live on May 2nd um, but a couple of things to point out especially back in the um, accessories area there are deep discounts, um, 40, 60%, 50%. Um, I do have a link to this on the Facebook page, so you could download it from there and take a look at it at your leisure with um, maybe some better eyes. One item that is retiring that I'm extremely sad about is our Stamparatus is going to be retired. Um, there have been some issues from other companies. I don't want to get into that detail about it, but they have decided to pull that product. So we will not have anything for stamp positioning after May. Um, so I will be showing it. Uh, it will be as supplies last as are, as is everything on this catalog as supplies last. That's why they're considered last chance. Um, but there are some things associated with the Stamparatus that you might want to consider getting even if you don't have one. Um, I love this small grid paper. I don't even have my big piece out here today because I'm going to be using this one. Um, so, and I believe if I look again quickly that none of the Stamparatus products are discounted. Um, if any remain at the end of May, uh, it will go to the online uh, exclusive area of the online store. Um, but back to accessories and dyes, some of the dyes are deep discounted. So it's, it's a good thing. So this is the annual catalog. There are lots of retired things in there. 
which I'm not going to go through right now because I want to do a switcheroo. Which way shall I go? This way or this way? Here is the new annual catalog for May 2023 to April of 2024. And is as usual, we are not permitted to show the inside of the catalog until it actually goes live to customers on, I believe it's May 2nd. However, when, as demonstrators, we get new product, we are allowed to show that. So here in the next couple of weeks, I will have some new product to show you. I've also been talking for the last few weeks about a color refresh. And yes, there is a refresh. And it is, I want to keep saying that word, refreshing. Yes. Um, first of all, the Fresh Freesia color is transitioning into our core colors. So it is staying around um, from one of our in color, from our in colors that are going away. So Evening Evergreen is gone or will be gone. Polish Pink, Pale Papaya, and Soft Succulent. I'm sad about those. I've loved all those colors, but I'm also going to love the new colors as well. Um, what is going away is Mary Merlot, Blushing Bride, Mango Melody, so Saffron, Pear Pizzazz, I will be very sad about that one. Um, Sahara Sand, and I always thought that was a great neutral, but it's going. Soft Suede, Rich Razzleberry, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, and Mint Macaron. Um, now, if you've been around for a while, uh, we have some returning colors that you may rec recognize and hopefully still have in your stash. Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst, Misty Moonlight, Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bushel, and Lost Lagoon. So I loved all those colors. So we can only have so many. We can't have them all. So uh, we will get used to new and we'll miss the old. Um, there are new colors called um, Azure Afternoon. So azure is like a, a blue, if you can imagine that beautiful color. Pecan pie, so there's a good brown. Love pecan pie. Lemon lolly, a very soft yellow, not bright like um, the Daffodil Delight. And bubble bath, a nice soft pink. So um, I think you're pro you can probably see some of those colors here on this page. Um, Let's see, I did not write down the new in colors. And since I can't show you the inside here, let me look them up real quick before we get started. Um, they're very earthy this year for the next two years. So they'll be here from 23 through 25. Um, I don't have them memorized yet. So let's see where we are. Okay, Copper Clay, Wild Wheat, Boho Blue, Moody Mauve, and Pebbled Path. Um, so I think you will like them a lot. Um, so anyway, let's get going. If you saw what I posted, I have two techniques to show today and I'm going to do something a little bit different rather than create the whole card I'm going to show you the techniques and then go from there but where did I get them we have some amazing absolutely amazing concept artists and every month they do a, a video on Instagram and I learned so much from just watching them, and they're so inspirational. Um, they probably have more uh, creativity in their little finger than I have in my whole body. But um, I was watching the other night, and I saw a couple things that I thought would be very interesting to share with you all. 
So I'm going to start with a stamp set Daffodil Daydream. This is retiring as well as the, the dies that go with it. Um, and I chose this one because it's a great for the technique that I'm going to show you, but it has Mother's Day and Easter blessings. So those are great for spring. And this has been around for a while. Um, so I think it's something that, that you will enjoy. Okay, so let me get a piece of basic white here. Uh, by the way, shimmery white paper is going to be retiring. That is a very sad thing. I do not know why. Um, all right, since I'm going to be using some blends on this, I'm going to be stamping with um, Memento, the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And to show this technique, I'm using the smaller of the two daffodils. I have some uh, something to show that I've already done that I'm using this one. And I'm going to pull out my pool party Stampin' Blends, but then I have another one already done to show you in a different color with this technique. And in this one, I'm going to use the dark. And this may surprise you a little bit. I'm not coloring the image yet. I'm going to go around the outside and also the inside as well and put basically a shadow around there. And I also have another card to show um, that I think you will like. So I want to do this first. Um, I like to use the bullet end, at least for me. It makes it a little bit easier to have control so I don't go into the stamped areas. But as you know, when you either fussy cut out something or die cut it, you get a white edge around the outside. In, um, I guess, stamping terms, that is called an offset. And it visually, it's very good. Now, I'm also going to go on the inside. Any place there's white, that doesn't have image on it is going to have this color. So it doesn't take too long to go around and do this. And I want to get as close to that stamped edge as I can. But back to our concept artists, they, they talked a little bit about just playing. And probably when you think about it, that's how new techniques are discovered. By just playing, as adults, we probably think that that's a waste of our time. But it's actually very calming and allows you to maybe be a little bit more creative than you would think. Now, even with just plain white, that's very pretty. Even if I don't go in and, and give it some color here in a minute, it's very pretty. Um, but I think it allows you to be more creative and also, um, you know, gives you some confidence in doing something on your own. Um, when I first started stamping, <clears throat> um, that's what I did. I just played. We didn't have Pinterest, for heaven's sakes. We didn't have 
all the online opportunities to look for ideas and share. And actually, what the ladies do, I call them girls because they're so young, is casing the catalog or stamping through the catalog, finding projects in our catalog. I, like, I find them in other places too, um, that give you inspiration to do something different. All right, so there's that. What do you think? Give me some thumbs up or share some love. But I wanted to use this stamp set because I need some Easter cards um, that don't necessarily have the bunny in them. And um, this one does have a nice Easter uh, greeting. So I'm gonna color very quickly on this and cut it out. And then I have some others to show you um, and then a card that's already put together. Because um, sometimes you think, oh, I don't want to watch her color. That's all she's going to do is color. Now this is just jade. And again, I'm using the bullet tip for these small areas. So essentially, I don't want any other white areas to show. Um, okay, I think I've got all of the um, the leaves done. So I'm going to add a little bit of the dark along the edge. Now this particular stamp doesn't give us the shadow marks like some of them do. So I'm just going to go along the edge where I think a um, a light source would be. And then I can come back in and color again with the light color. And that's where the blending comes in. And when it dries, it does dry a little bit lighter. Again, these are alcohol markers and they do bleed through. So you wanna watch what you have underneath. That's why I always use uh, grid paper or something underneath there. A little bit up there and I looked at some daffodils online because I do like to research a little bit the um, wait I don't want yeah I don't want that I want green yellow um, and there was an orange here in the trumpet part I'll show it to you but I didn't really care for it so my daffodils are going to be yellow um, so let's go with the light and this is daffodil delight and it is a yellow that is going to stay around. So I'm not even going to go all the way to the tip because I do want a little bit of white there. So it looks a little bit more natural. I can hardly wait to see what the new lemon lolly is going to look like. Um, So there's some yellow there. And I'll add just a few highlights with the dark. And um, on those little lines there. And then blend again. Okay, let's, uh, let's see, this is too big for my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So let's cut this down and then I can use that paper for 
the next project. So now you can imagine what is going to, what's going to happen here is that um, let's see, did I not bring the dies over here? There they are. Because I had been cutting using the um, the larger machine. And because I don't want this to slip and slide around, I am going to put this down with some washi tape. If I can find the end of it. There we go. Because there's nothing worse than doing your dike, doing your all your work, and then having it slip and slide in your mini machine or any machine. And if you have the mini machine, just want to give you a tip: the bottom plate, plate one. Plate two, move plate two down to where you see the two below the one. And then put the second plate two up there where plate one is. So you're creating like an, the letter E. So there's an offset there, if you can see that. And then these edges will go in much easier. Okay, so I don't think anything got Missed there. And there we go. Fingers crossed that it didn't slip anywhere in there. I think it's good to go. I'm just going to leave that taped on there for now. Okay, so what do you think, rather than have the white around the edge, having the blue around the edge? Let me show you a finished sample and another card that I can put together. I already did one that I can cut out later. And let's try this next one. And then I want to get your idea of what it is. Um, let's see, hold on. So I'm not going to show this one just yet. Well, I might as well, because when I put the machine up there, it's going to show. Okay, let me know what you think. The blue versus the black. And this is with the larger one. Because I didn't want you to have to watch me color that one all the way. So line that one up. 
the one that I saw on the video that the girls, the concept artists did, she was using the black. And it was striking. Um, I don't believe I remember what um, stamp, stamp set she was using. It was another floral image. Okay, sometimes that washi tape and tear the paper. So let's see what we got here. Kind of go at an angle. There we go. Okay, which do you like better? Let me know. The black or the, the pool party? Okay, nobody wants to give me any comments today, so I'm going to move on. Um, now, there's a little bit of white left up here. Maybe it was just because it switched and I used the, the dark stamp and blend, so I'm just going to fill that in. And let me show you a finished card. And this is with the, the blue, of course. And I used one of the new embossing folders from the online exclusives. And this has the, the crosshatch, the one that comes with a group of three. And there we've got our Easter blessings, some splatter of Wink of Stella, and the diorama dies are also going to be retiring. So I will miss those and be giving them some love, some love in the next month or so. Um, so there's that card. This was the one that had the orange trumpet part. And then this is the one with the yellow. So let me know what you think. And the black and white gingham ribbon is also carrying over again. Very excited about that. So here's the, the layering diorama, what that looks like. And I just used a blending brush in the center to go over that. I think it gave, gave it a nice look rather than always using a rectangle or a square. So I love, love, love that card. Put that in an envelope. Okay, here was another black one that I did as well. So I've got some, some things going here for some Easter cards. Now, the next one, I think you're going to like a lot. Okay, don't need the mini machine anymore. because I'm going to use a punch. Okay, and I can get the day, daffodil daydreams out of the way. All right. <clears throat> this is a punch that is with the new Tropical Leaf stamp set. So this is a bundle. It's in the online exclusives. And when I saw this, and this was the stamp set that the gal was using, um, I just kind of fell in love with the technique. 
And then I also did some research based on what she said. And I think I've mentioned before, I don't know a lot of plants or flowers, but when I learn what they are, like I did last week with the wisteria, I, um, I did a little research. So this is actually a, I have to pronounce it right, it's a split leaf philodendron, but I guess the real name is Monstera. So let me know if you've ever heard that word before, if you know um, flowers and plants and things. Yes, Ellen, I do love, love, love punches. They make our stamping life so, so easy. But here is a Monstera plant. So it's big, leafy. I saw it also called a Swiss cheese plant. So think about that one with all the holes in there. So um, that's what this one is. Let's get back to my desktop and show you what we've got going here. All right, how many of you have a Wink of Stella? If you don't, you need to have one. Um, a number of years ago, we had a product called um, Shimmer Paint which I loved, absolutely loved, but it also went away. <laughs> we never question why, we just know that it happens. Um, but there is a, a liquid very similar to shimmer paint inside the Wink of Stella. Now, let me, um, let me get one of these daffodils back again and show you the normal, probably, way that most of us use the Wink of Stella, and that's just to squeeze a little bit out here. There's a place here that says push to squeeze and get that liquid out. Um, I don't know if it's back in stock. That wasn't one that I looked at, Ellen. Um, but I'm sure it will be back in shortly. I always keep a couple extra and add one to an order when, when I need to, because I like it so much. So it adds just enough shimmer. Um, hello, Rose. Oh, ketchup, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this one. I know you're gonna love this one. Um, so there's the, the shimmer on that. But this is a different way of using it, which I think you will like. And we're gonna use it as a paint. Now, let me talk a little bit more about Wink of Stella if, you're, if it's something that you're new to. When you get one, it comes with this little black ring around it. Now, if you see the instructions, you would know what I'm gonna tell you to do. But I've had people call me and say, my Wink of Stella is not working. What's wrong with it? Well, this is the deal. You take the cap off, and this black ring around here is designed to protect the ingredients until it's actually going to be used. So you just unscrew this, take that off, and it can be thrown away. I'll lay it over there for a minute. Um, and then there is a, you can, I don't think you can see this in here, but there's like a, a I would call it a pin for the lack of a better word, that goes down and punches in that hole and that won't happen until you take out that black ring. And that's what actually um, releases or will help release the liquid that's in here. And then there are little words on the side that say push and you just push on that until you see the liquid starting to come out. Now, I don't want it to go in my hand. And I do know, do know that this one is almost empty. Um, so I've got a small block here and I'm going to squeeze some of that here till it comes out on the block. There you can see that. 
and it's a silvery gold. And let's get the lid back here. Now, when I'm not using my Wink of Stella, I typically keep it up like this with the cap side up so nothing's going to leak out. Now, let's go with this piece of paper here. And I'm going to, I'll just do one of these for now, stamp the large Monstera. M-O-N-S-T-E-R-A is what it's called, Monstera, using the Wink of Stella and some, oh, wait a minute, lost my train of thought here. Um, where did it go? Hold on a minute here. Ah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to stamp it first in mint macaron, and then I'm going to do some painting. And mint macaron is one of our colors that we'll be leaving. But you know you can always stamp off if you have a darker color. Okay, but I'm going to stamp that. And then I will stamp another one. Let's go this way. And that alone is pretty. But I'm now going to take some Old Olive reinker. Old Olive is one of the colors that has been around since Stampin' Up! went to exclusive colors. So it's been around a long time. So I'm going to blend that in with the Wink of Stella. Now, I could take the, the new Wink of Stella that I just opened, but I'm gonna take this old one that is empty and use that as my paintbrush. And blend those together. And I'm going to paint on this flower. Um, so if you've never heard the word case, that's kind of what I'm doing here. Copy and share everything. Um, so I'm kind of copying exactly what the concept artist did but you could do this with any stamp. And, but this was the easiest one I thought to show this, this technique. I don't know if she gave it a name. I would just call it painting with your wink of Stella. So I'm gonna kind of go back and forth here. You know, we always want quick and easy. Everything nowadays is quick and easy. Do a card in five minutes. Um, do a card in three or four minutes. You know, add some um, designer series paper and kind of, there you go. Um, add a bow, add, add a sentiment, and that is wonderful. That is awesome. To, to do that. And you could do that 90% of the time. But every once in a while, you want something that is a little bit different. I call it a wow card. And share that with, with your family and friends. And they'll think, wow, how'd she do that? Okay, so that's that one on that side. Then I'm going to kind of reverse what I did over here. So on this one, I did the plain side. So on this one, after I draw that line down the center, I'm going to do the side that has the little hole in it. 
now that I know it's called a Swiss cheese plant. That's kind of a happy word. Let's get more of that shiny, shiny shimmery st stuff in there. Yes, it would be great. I can imagine this, Ellen, on um, some evergreen trees, um, poinsettias. So just think about the things that you can do with it. Um, so I'm just doing the opposite here. Trying to have a steady hand as I go around that little circle. Not so good. Now these are going to take some time to dry. So when I finish coloring these, I will show you what I've already done to put the card together. I was out driving this morning. I had a, a doctor's appointment to follow up on my my little knee issue from a couple months ago. Actually, it was about six weeks ago. And um, I saw a magnolia tree in bloom, which was pretty. All right. Um, now I'm just going to kind of flick a little bit some things on the side. Because in nature, that's what plants look like. So that's what those leaves look like right now. Um, and that does not take very long to dry. Um, now, before I go on, there's a lot left on here. And you saw that I did not really put that much down. I think maybe two drops of reinker and just a little squeeze of the... Um, oh, where are we here? Of the... Um, Wink of Stella. So as I was playing, because this is about playing, I decided to just actually paint right on the stamp. Now we know that it's it's just ink. You can do that. So I'm going to paint right on this stamp, this little one. And it does come right off. I did use a baby wipe because I didn't want to get Stella stuff all over my um, chamois. But look at that. Look at the variegation you get from doing that. I just love it. Um, So I, I will have to play around with this some more, but I just got this um, tropical leaf set and had to try it out. I kind of think I like this a little bit better. I'm going to try that with the big one, and then we'll go on to show you the, the cards that I've got. Now there's no punch with these, um, but the the punch with the big one, which I'll punch out when those are dry. Okay, I am going to grab a baby wipe here. And you can also clean your Wink of Stella the same way. That's why I always encourage, um, encourage you to keep those old Wink of Stellas because you can use them as a great paintbrush. Don't throw them away. So that cleans up just great. Okay, I've got plenty of that left. And let's go back to this big one. Let's 
so I don't want to waste it. And actually, this was not what I'm doing on the uh, stamp now is not something that I saw that saw the uh, the concept artists do. Um, that was my own thing um, because I didn't want that to go to waste. So I'll put that down here. Now, one thing I'm not doing with this, which I just happened to think about, I don't have the um, pierce mat under it because it's a photopolymer. So let's see what happens when I put a pierce mat under it to get the softer look when I do this last one. This will be the last one that I do. And I get a different look whether I go vertical or horizontal on this stamp as well. Um, and I kind of like the, the horizontal look on the stamp. So now this is with the pierce mat underneath. Okay, I still get the variegated look. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love it. Um, now here's another thing that you can do with that leftover is put that on there and then kind of, oops, I got too much out of there. Tap with your bone folder and you'll get that spattered look too. So again, th today is a play day. We're having a play date. So the only thing different here is um, this is all Old Olive and Wink of Stella. And here we have the Mint Macaron as the base. So that's the difference. So there's still a little bit left on there, but I think I can sacrifice it. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this off. And also clean off my stamp. So it does clean off of the stamp very easily. Keep in mind, we put ink on our stamps all the time. And the Wink of Stella, um, I think as long as you get it off there fairly quickly, it's not going to be a problem. And I don't see any sparkle on my stamp. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing, and that is because I'm playing. Um, Oh, what the heck. Let's just stamp that down on the paper and make a blob. I don't know what I would do with it, but now it's not going to go to waste. And I'll wipe that off of my, my block. So if you don't have Wink of Stella, I hope I've convinced you to get one. Um, Ellen said that it might be out of stock. I will have to look. Um, but I'm sure it will be back in. Uh, I don't know what, even what the date is of it. So those are the pretty, pretty colors. Now let me get these two that I know are fully dry. Grab this punch. And one thing about this stamp set the font can't see it in the shiny here the font on this is just awesome xoxo hello love you lots and thanks so much i know i will be using those sentiments a lot now there's one step that i'm not going to do right now but I will show you on the cards that I've got already done. And that is some embossing. By that I mean heat embossing. 
So let's grab the card here. Okay, these I think are probably still a little bit wet, but if you look at that, you can see around the circles or the little holes, the little Swiss cheese holes, that there's actually the, the gold or the wink of Stella right there. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous in real life. Love it. All right. So this is a card that I have already done. Okay, thanks for looking, Ellen. Uh, Wink of Stella is out of stock currently to be determined for the date. So I will have to let you know on that. Um, but this is a card that I did last night. I've used the deckled rectangles, which are staying. And down the center, there is a a vein stamp for each size, the large size and the small size. And so I did that and then embossed. So I stamped it in Versamark and then embossed down the center. And then there's also some stamping on that um, deckled piece and embossing. And then I've got some vellum here, some vellum that I had. And then thanks so much. And then just did some controlled tearing down along the side. This card, I've stamped the long stems for this. Now I do understand from what I've heard that this is a fairly expensive plant. So um, this may be the only one that I get. That's <laughs> what I what I can stamp. That's why I love nature stamps. So I've already started this one. Yes, it would make a nice sympathy card too. Great idea. Um, and I used my blending brush with, I think there was some mixture of uh, pale papaya and some Calypso coral in there, but I took whatever was there and stamped those stems off the edge in old olive. So I'm gonna glue that on there. Use my snail. That's plenty there. Get it rolling again. There we go. Okay, I don't need that now. And put that on a four and a quarter by five and a half card base that has been cut from 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half in the center. So this piece is three and three quarters by five. And I have already done a lot of the um, stamping and embossing and cutting out. Now, these were the two... This one I did not emboss. These were just stamped and punched out. And then I've also got a couple pieces of that vellum here that's got some um, texture on it. I think it's supposed to look like a map. Um, gotta use it up. Um, the little ones here have the gold embossing. So let's see if I can put this together. And then I've got love you lots here. Um, Grab some Stampin' Dimensionals and put a couple down. So this is um, the week of Easter, so um, I don't want to forget to wish everybody a um, happy Easter, happy Passover, 
um, and enjoy the week. It looks like we might be getting some spring here. Although it's supposed to be, I think, 65 on Wednesday, but storms moving in again. And we had a very nasty storm on Saturday afternoon. I think some people are still without power. Um, let's see, where shall that go? That's going to go here because you have to be very careful with vellum because you can see every little bit of adhesive through there. So I'm gonna stick that there and then put um, one of these over top of it. Just so you can see that out there a little bit. And then, let's see, let's put one of these little ones in there. This would also make a nice uh, sympathy card or thinking of you card as well. Let's see, let's, I'm not sure where that can actually go. Okay, so I've got some things here I'm not going to, going to use. And then I've got the love you lots right here and I'm going to pop that up too. And I don't want to cover up the whole bottom part, oops, stuck it down too quick, of the stems, but I want to slip it up underneath a little bit of the leaf. And then, because I know they're going to go away, I've got the 2123 in color jewels. And because I've got some variegated of the greens here, um, let's get rid of these little dimensional things. I know they'll follow me upstairs. Um, but I think the soft succulent will look good on here because it's a soft enough green. And as I said, soft succulent is going away. It's going bye-bye. Let's get the whole thing there. Hello. It doesn't want to flip over. There we go. And another one down here. Uh, let's go there. And let's put one up here. And maybe use an evening evergreen one too. Because the colors really blend in, so. Okay, so there is that card. And that's it for today. So I wanna appreciate you for hanging out with me and sharing some fun and creativity. And basically, just having a play date. That's what we're doing. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna call my, my lives now. We're just having a play date. Okay, and here is the Easter card. So Rose, I'm not sure if you saw this one or not. Let's move things out of the way here where I colored around this so you can see that on the ketchup. So there is that technique. And here are these two cards. So I appreciate you being here. Have a great rest of the week. Enjoy your holiday, enjoy family, and um, just have fun creating. So I will see you next week.
and get everything out of the way here. Um, have a great one.